Hi guys, uh, it's Laura again and today I'm bringing to you this look. This is an all F elf cosmetics makeup look. Uh, especially today I've been using my matte for matte palette so I hope you guys have it and you can use this and achieve this look or you can be inspired by it so it's an all matte look today. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So first one I'm gonna use is this e.l.f. mineral face primer. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Put some dots all over my face and I'm gonna concentrate more in the middle of my nose and where I have like enlarged pores on my face and I already put a moisturizer on I always use a moisturizer okay. I just spread it all over my face because I feel like I put a lot okay next what I'm gonna use today is this e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick and my shade is in natural and I'm just gonna put it like this and to spread this all over my face I'm gonna use a buffing brush actually this is a Stippling brush, actually, and this is by Real Techniques. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to cover any discoloration around my mouth, my nose, and I'm gonna try to take it down a little bit on my neck just to match my shade better getting inside my inner corner of the eye because I feel like I have some discoloration there from my veins and it's not pretty <laughs> I feel this is such a great foundation covers well feels well great I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and I'm gonna do in the meantime my brows and I'm gonna use this I don't even know how it's named because they're dropped off but it's the elf <laughs> brow pencil and this is in uh, neutral brown I'm gonna brush a little bit my brows first put them in place and then I'm gonna line them gently there now I'm just gonna clean it up uh, first I'm gonna set it with a clear brow gel everything itself obviously I'm just gonna put everything in place like that and then I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer and today I'm going to use the same concealer for my eyes and I'm going to use the HD Lifting Concealer. I'm going to do this. Just to give it more shape. A little bit 
the middle of my nose and a little bit of my chin <laughs> and I have here this is my concealer brush it's also great to use as my foundation brush sometimes because it's so thick and full and this is a natural fiber brush got it as a kit so I they don't have it anymore for sale because I got it at Costco but it was such a great such a great deal to get this so the concealer is uh, in shade fair I think it's matching my skin nice put a little bit of brightening uh, this is the same balancing this is the same HD concealer and balancing which is like a light purple shade to it and I just want to dab a little bit over my purple redness that I got in my skin just to give it a little bit more brightening make the eye full feel more awake What do you think? It works or not? <laughs> okay. Next, I'm gonna just use the high definition powder. This is in sheer. And I'm just gonna set my concealer and uh, my foundation. And I'm gonna use the actual puff do that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make just everything matte on my face with this powder and this is such a great powder it's so easy to use it's just a little bit messy everybody keeps telling me that and I know but for the price it's such a great powder believe me up everything so next what I'm gonna use is this elf contour palette and first I'm gonna use this neutral brown shade and I'm using brush like this it's a lush brush but it's flat on top I like it because it goes in the hollow it goes in the hollows of my cheeks like this like under my bone and I can define easily and contour my face with it so it's a little bit more precise than under brushes I will say Then I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit. under my chin just to define my face and I'm just gonna run it down my neck just to blend everything in and just because I have like really defined jaw I'm just gonna put a little bit on at the end of my jaw just, just to make it more round okay And a little bit to define my nose, just to make it like a longer shape. Just gonna 
use it at the sides of my nose like this and a little bit on the tip and to blend everything together with my eyes just a dab under my brows from the nose to my breast just to connect it together with my nose Now I'm going to take another brush, and this is like an um, under eye setting brush, this is by Real Techniques again, I'm just going to take this yellow shade and I'm going to give a little brighter, just bright my uh, under my eyes a little bit with this shade. bit in the middle of my nose just to give it like a slimmer effect okay. and now I'm gonna take this contouring and bronze uh, con contouring blush and bronzing powder and this is in Fiji and I'm gonna use the bronzer again just to warm up my face a little bit and I'm gonna dust a little bit all over where I contour my face in the neutral shade just to warm up my face a little bit just a little bit not too much I don't want to look dirty on my face so. just a tiny little bit a little goes a long way And today I'm gonna use actually this blush in the Fiji palette because it's a matte blush. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. This is a blush brush. It's a little tapered. And I really like the shape of it because I feel it's so precise. I'm just gonna tap a little bit on it and then just tap a little bit on the apple of my cheeks. it for my face now we're moving to my eyes and I'm gonna prime them with the mineral eyeshadow primer this is in sheer I'm just gonna use a little bit of this primer on my eyes and then just dab with my fingers like this. just spread it all over my eye up to my cheekbone uh, up to my under my Brows, <laughs> cheap ones. Okay, like that. And this is gonna create a canvas for the eye. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this. It's a mineral eyeliner, and this is in Midnight, which is a. It's not like a dark. It's not as dark black as I would like it to be, but it's the darkest shade that I got uh, from e.l.f. And this is like a black. And I just want to line the side of my eyes with this dark shade, gently. Mm, a little bit probably in between my lids. Oh. A little bit outside. So if you can get in there inside of your lids, it's fine. If you can, don't. I'm tearing a lot and I can't do like inside of my eye. Oh, it's so hard for me to do, but this makes such a difference if you can do it. It's so hard for me to do it. 
and I'm just gonna line a little bit on the outside and it's okay if you're messy because this look is not gonna show and top of the lid a little bit more in the shade I'm just gonna be messy with it on top, like this. Just to go as close as possible to the lid. I'm gonna take a liner brush, or you can use a smudge brush, whatever you choose. Just to smudge this eyeliner a little bit. You can drag it down if you want to a little bit, you know, like so. You can just smudge it around, make it a little bit more even. It doesn't have to be perfect, so we're gonna put eyeshadow on top of it just to have like a base, dark base. Okay, next I'm gonna take this e.l.f. matte for matte palette and I'm gonna take a big, a big crease eye buffing brush, just like this, fluffy brush. And the first shade that I'm gonna use is this warm, this warm brown shade. And I'm just gonna create my crease with this warm shade. Just gonna put it under my crease and towards my, my brow a little bit just to define my eyes and again you can be messy with this and a little bit under just to tie everything together take an eyeshadow brush flat like this small brush and I'm just gonna take the last shade which is the black in the kit and I'm just gonna tap it on my eyelid like so I'm gonna fill up the whole eyelid with this black shadow do it a little bit under on the same liner that we put on earlier like so now the other eye doesn't have to be perfect again because we're gonna tie it up with another shade okay. 
and then I'm gonna take this small elf brush which is a contour brush I believe contour for the eyes because it's a small brush and I'm gonna take this shade here which is like a I don't know still like a warm brown it's the fifth shade in the palette and I'm just gonna swipe in the crease with this just to tie the black and the other shade together and I'm gonna do the same under my eye and this has to be a little bit more precise because you wanna blend the black with the brown together and the other eye too Take your time with this because this is more precise than the other movements that we did. And just swipe it, you know, swiping motions to blend in. You can see it's blending everything together effortlessly. Very easy to do, very easy to achieve this look. Then again I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and you can dip it again in the shadow if you want, in the third shadow and then swipe it on again just to clean everything. Now you can clean any fallout if you had from the backs because usually they have fallout. The black shades, the dark shades. And yeah. <laughs> and um, last, what I want to do is take a clean brush. And you, you want to take the first shade, which is the lighter shade in the palette, and just dab it a little bit in your inner corners of your eye just to make it a little bit brighter and this is not shimmery at all and a little bit under your brow just to give it like a lifted brow effect just a little tiny little bit if you want to I think it's optional. Now, we're done with the eyes. Just gonna do mascara. And this is the 3 in 1 mascara in very black. A lot of mascara. Okay. And today I'm not gonna do any shimmer on my face, it's just gonna be all matte. I'm just gonna use this lipstick with this liner. So I decided to use this uh, lip liner and blending brush in um, this is in natural. Today the matte lip color in praline.
So that's it for my elf look today. This is my matte for matte look. Mm.